I hope you're sitting down for this video. I'm Mike Steger. I'm a copyright and trademark lawyer. And today I'm going to talk about copyright protection for furniture. Uh, copyright protection for furniture is in the news. Uh, recently, Kim Kardashian and the design firm Clements Design was sued by the Judd Foundation. And the Judd Foundation owns the copyrights uh, in the works of the legendary minimalist uh, designer Donald Judd. And the basics of the case uh, are that uh, Kim Kardashian and the design firm were allegedly passing off uh, counterfeit or copy uh, chairs in her office as works that were actually uh, based on Donald Judd designs. That's about all the specifics of that case I'm going to get into. Now, you know, I've done a lot of videos on copyright issues, copyright protection. Normally, when I'm talking about that, I'm talking about photographs, entertainment content, maybe computer software, a lot of times 2D designs. But you can also have copyright protection in useful objects like furniture. And while you cannot protect functional aspects of these types of articles. So for example, for a chair, you can't copyright there are four legs to the chair or there's a back to the chair or there's a seat to the chair because those are, are functions and you, you know, they've been around forever. You, they're not original to you when you're designing furniture, but you can get protection in the look in various design elements that are non-functional sort of the ornamental elements of the furniture. So maybe the, the curve of the chair, maybe the, you know, the way the furniture looks, the design of a table, you can get copyright protection uh, in that. And these furniture copyright cases come up periodically, uh, most notably, probably the most aggressive copyright owner is uh, the firm Herman Miller, which owns the copyrights to the uh, to the Eames chairs, and there are repeated lawsuits that will come up for people who are selling knockoff uh, Eames chairs. What's the takeaway from this? Uh, two things: number one, you can get copyright protection in furniture, and number two, watch out. You don't want to be buying knockoffs of very famous designs um, because whoever's selling you those knockoffs is going to be liable for uh, copyright infringement. And you may be too if you're using them. So if you have any questions about furniture or any other kinds of copyright, give me a call, Mike Steger, copyright and trademark lawyer. Thanks.